Alright guys, yes I know M16 isn't meta anymore and Burst Zone is probably gone, it's probably in the rear end of Warzone right now. And honestly, this gun still hits the same, like you know, with this specific attachment I'll be giving you in the class setup. And the gun is still good overall, but you won't see many people running around Verdansk with this weapon because you know, the Amax is coming back, the Far 83 got buffed, the Krig 6 got buffed, there's multiple other guns that you can use that will probably be around Verdansk more than this M16. But in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you the best M16 class setup here in Warzone. So make sure if you haven't already, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on, and follow me on all my socials, links be down in the description below. Let's get into the class setup. So for your first attachment, the muzzle, you want the agency silencer. It gives you sound suppression, which keeps you off the radar when firing, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, which is how fast the bullet travels, and effective damage range. For your barrel, you want the 20.5 inch task force, it gives you effective damage range and more bullet velocity. I know you're probably thinking, oh it's the basic M16 setup with the strike team, but as you can see the strike team doesn't give you as much damage, the range isn't as good as the uh, task force, and the control is a little bit off. For your optic, you want the axle arms 3 times. For the ammunition, you want the 45 round mag, it gives you ammo capacity. And for the underbarrel, you want the field agent foregrip, it gives you horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. For your secondary, you want the Sykov pistol, and yes, I know this has been nerfed as well, but this class setup is still very viable in Verdansk, or even in Rebirth, like in the gameplay I was playing Rebirth, but I mean, it, the gun is still good either way. For the first attachment, the muzzle, you want the monolithic suppressor, it gives you sound suppression and damage range. For the barrel, you want the Sorokin 140mm auto, it gives you fire rate, and it makes the pistol fully automatic. This is the only pistol in Warzone that is fully automatic. For the trigger action, you want the heavyweight double action, it gives you ADS speed and sprint and fire speed. For the ammunition, you want the 80 round drum, it gives you magazine ammo capacity, and who can't go wrong, like, who wouldn't go wrong with 80 rounds, you know, like, that's multiple people you can smoke within the same mag as long as you don't miss a lot of shots. And for your last attachment, the rear grip, you want the VLK Alita, it gives you recoil control, and this gun doesn't have much recoil, but when you add this specific attachment right here, there's literally no recoil. For your perks, you want Double Time, Ghost, and Amped. For your Lethal, you want the Simtex. And for your Tactical, you want the Heartbeat Sensor. I thought I let them both get away. I missed so many times, bro. I did not even know that there were that many people there, bro. Somebody grab the heli if you want. All pilot. I got four kids below me.
Bro, the M16 was nerfed, as they say. Kids still at the top there gliding down over here. One kid over here. Where are they at? Oh, 